This is a shrine hidden under the side of Mount Aso. Below these azaleas is a 6th century AD grave. This area has been inhabited for thousands of years next to the volcano. The volcanic lands make it very fertile. Cherry blossoms and azaleas. There's a fisheries pond here too. Many ancient graves here. Yeah. So this is a small site. Yep. Yes. Uh, Japanese uh, uh, called uh, Kunizu Puri Jinja, Kokuzo Jinja. Yeah. Uh, so before the uh, Gato. God, yeah. Uh, who created the Aso area as a nation. Yes. Was here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kokuzo Jinja. Kokuzo Jinja. Maybe the gate or uh, faced on the uh, Mount Aso, uh, because uh, Mount Aso is the uh, uh, most uh, precious god in Aso area. Okay. Um, uh, this uh, way uh, is important. Yeah. Uh, from the energy zone. Energy zone uh, from, from the Mount, Mount Aso, Aso to the shrine. Okay. So we can uh, observe the typical uh, traditional style of this of the Japanese shrine. So, uh, there are icons uh, uh, of the nature as a god. Uh, mountain. Yeah. Pure water. Yes. And forest. Okay. Uh, in this spot, uh, uh, the, there are a lot of forest and pure water mm. spot. Please. This is some explanation. Uh, the deity of the volcanic geosite on top. Mm. Oh. So UNESCO uh, uh, registered uh, uh, geopark as a uh, world heritage site. Yes. So that's called a tumulus plaster, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. The, uh, this is what's underneath the azaleas. We can have some spring water. Mm, yes. Mm. Water has now running down in the concrete. But the spring water can be gathered from because of the coronavirus, they have installed the bamboo to flow constantly. Climb up the steps. That is an alternative path for wheelchairs. You can see the Japanese maples come out. One is red, one is still green, a light green.
giant trees. The remains of a cherry blossom. Another set of steps for moss is growing here. The blue signs are about Corona pandemic. Wood carvings, different deities. This tree is holy. Prayers are still on it, and fortunately, although the main tree is gone, there is a branch growing out of the roots, which is already about uh, 15 meters. Here, as it was mentioned on the sign just below, because of a great typhoon, uh, one of the trees here, giant trees, was lost. So they've preserved the bottom part as a deity. And another one struck by lightning is preserved there. And these are very large trees. You can see for comparison how tall these ones with the narrow trunks are. And if we go in comparison, those trunks, those trees are thousands, several thousand years old. So this ancestral worship of a volcano deity is a, an essence of the energy around Mount Asu area. The Sakura is just one part. There are mountain Sakuras, but actually the uh, you can see here next to the shrine. But the ecosystem is really modulated by these giant cedar trees. This is Mount Asu. The shrine is behind see the spirit of the volcanic complex, the caldera, it's a giant caldera. The outer circle is at the hills behind here. So in fact the whole area, that is the outer rim. And this is inside the caldera of Mount Asso. Just as an illustration of the size of this mountain. No doubt, that's why people are praying. It's a new one. This is looking over Mount Asso. In May, early May, the bikers have come for a road. It was an earthquake, a landslide by, from the earthquake, was it? So, there's still some damage from Kumamoto earthquake. It's Oita Prefecture, in the distance. Common fields. planting the crops. In fact, although that's the volcano, this is the marker of the big room and you can see the volcanic rocks on the side here. So this is actually a volcano inside a giant cauldron. That's why it's so active and there are many hot springs and volcanic activities. This is some of the wild plants you can eat. Occasionally the mountain lets off some steam. There is a small eruption.
sometimes very large ones from Mount Aso. So it's a very active volcano. At this point we can see many people waiting, taking a view, enjoying the fresh air. People having a risk rest from their bike. And this is the outer rim. So it's a really large rim all the way around Mount Aso. And in the forest, the cedars, you can see shrines and other places as well. And this common land provides farms the common land so this is a spring area very many wildflowers this is in the forest you can smell the fuji yeah Wisteria is a very wonderful smell. So this is what it looks like in the wild. Fuji. Yeah. You can see the traditional Wisteria. And then the nice rocks and stones. Spring. So the mountain springs in Mount Asu area, very clear, beautiful water. Moss. You can see it's been a big flood at times. These stones have fallen down. The mountain wisteria. It's a beautiful valley. out of the river see the Fuji it's converted to grassland wild vegetables and flowers new leaves there are many mountain vegetables maple it's really a pleasant area This is the mountain area on the top as well. You can see the tints of the wisteria. All through the layer. So this is what it is in its natural state. Climbing up the hill, you can see many mountain plants more and more Fuji, Wisteria, new leaves of other plants, ponds. In the valley there is also a waterfall. And this path is going to find that waterfall. Meadows, 
see how this road has been dug. Now layers and layers all growing under the power of the sun. The new leaves are still coming out so the undergrowth has a brighter situation right now than in the middle of the summer when it will get to a higher density in the canopy layer. So the early plants if you can grow now you can get more sunlight and more energy. Butterflies enjoying the summer breeze. Although it's only May, I guess we could say this is spring in the mountain area around Mount Asa. There will be different plants growing where the creeks are. And these creeks provide Layers. Possibly we can even find if there's enough water, probably wasabi and other herbs will be growing in these mountains. And you can go to the top or the bottom of a waterfall. So the valley, you see the river flowing. It seems like this has been an earthquake and moved the ground about 8 to 10 meters up. It's from here that the waterfall is in this hard rock. It's really a beautiful valley opened up. On top, the valley is not so distinct. From below, you can really see how the ground is lifted up higher. A small mountain valley. Water flows seamlessly. Quite a lot of water is coming over. The canopy layers provide really a haven. I must be careful on the big rocks. No doubt there are some fish. The pond. Some of these rocks, you see a wisteria petals. I must be cautious. These branches and roots of the trees provide a connection and stability even in the source of floods that often come down bringing those rocks. Great place for people to walk and enjoy the forest. water flows down from the waterfall you see beautiful and pleasant canopy great place so 
So this is walking back in. There is a park, you can pay 200 yen to come in and park here in the valley. It's great views of mountains and wisteria. You can pick plants in the meadows. Some of the grass has been burnt for fire protection or for fire and the trees are blackened but not such a hot fire so the trees come back to life. This controls the grassland. You can pick wild vegetables and smell the wisteria. This is on top of the volcanic area. There are some stones from the Jomon era on top of the mountains here. It's quite a popular attraction. Mysterious megaliths. Volcanic rock aligned regularly on the hill at 845 meters of altitude. Some of the stones have figures that are believed to be ancient script and local people have worshipped the stones since ancient times. From this site you can enjoy a grandstand view of undulating pyroplastic plateau of Asso Caldera formed by huge eruptions as well as the vast grasslands a common ground conserved by local people. And you can find a QR code if you want French. See if an arrow moves over the Sedan Ishi stone compass. Is it magnetic? So, this is the present location. This is the Lindo flower. Mm, Lindo. This is famous for Mount Asso. Mm. are on top of a hill looking out over the Caldera Mount Asso common land so are these spiritual stones Valleys been to is in these those hills. So this is the uh, ancient writing that's on the rock here. I call of the goto of the cow. Cow. And uh, uh, this. Uh, is the icon of the snake, snake god. Yeah. So kids are enjoying to climb on the holy rock. Script. This is a praying st prayer stone and people have put some coins in to make a wish. See these, all these stone sites. People are making a prayer. Look at the 
the compass. You can see this is a magnetic stone. The compass direction north should be in my hand. And if we go away from the stone, north is coming back to where it should be. Yeah. So let me resume and go closer again. So north is there. On the side of the stone. This is really confused because it's a magnetic stone. People are given the prayers for money. You can see the magnetic field in layers is quite different next to the stone. It's in the right direction now, but if we go closer to the stone, magnetic rock shifts it totally. It's a powerful magnet. So this is to the north, looking in the mountains of Oita Prefecture, away from Kumoto. to a rock, certain parts of a rock, such as here, particularly magnetic, away from the rock, it comes back to a real north. It's an interesting phenomenon. So you can see these historic stones, a source of fascination for many people. Kurokawa Onsen in Kumamoto by Mount Aso is one of the oldest and famous of the onsen towns where you could have a private onsen by watching nature together out of a window. There's a lot of uh, private restaurants and onsen in this area. under large cedar trees. So it's interesting, so many different real kungs. Each oh. would have their own onsen. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then they have uh, businesses, <laughs> old style houses. Made of wood, the trees. Ways. Really has overgrown the trees. Old fashioned store. Nicely made. Kumamoto Prefecture's symbol is Kumamon. Restaurants and businesses. Some people walk through the town in the uh, Yukata from the Onsen. Also some cake shop. It must be really tasty. People are enjoying it. Small houses on the other side. And some really large different streets. This is a map. Okay. 
lucky to touch the belly of the turkey. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Oh, Very famous yes, onset. Yes, yes. Oh, here is the only one of the Representative onset. Mm -hmm. This business of yes. private onsen in nature. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Kurokawa Onsen. The Kurokawa runs through the Saw Valley. A very historical building. more traditional buildings in spring so we can, can play in a river yeah I think so Along the side, they have a lantern going up the river, made of bamboo. Some remaining failure. This is really pretty, but built this out of a large bamboo. Electric wires make a beautiful light thing. If ever on the side of a caldera, another viewpoint of a mount. Uh, so from the outer ring, the Sinamoto Road. It seems to be quiet this afternoon. No steam has been released. As you can see, the onsen is a long way from the center. This is a camping site for people to enjoy nature.
provides a recreation area for people. Now she has a campsite with toilets and tents. So in the lower parts is a stream. You can see more wisteria. And this is a small campsite for people to come in and stay close to the mountains. Very simple for washing. <laughs> so this is uh, enjoying the wild wisteria, the Fuji in the creeks so this is a really beautiful walk you can see the mountain spaces So you can see the path totally empty, even though this is a, one of the peak national holidays. People are not out here enjoying nature. So you can see the Fuji and the azaleas growing as amongst this entrance in a very black volcanic soil. It's really soft to walk on and growing different plants, some of which can eat and a small entrance way for in the summer for people to come to enjoy. So this type of natural relaxation place on the Mount Asso should be occupied by people in the holidays trying to escape from the city, but it's empty. Close to this park is another one of the mountain areas of Mount Asu, of Ayama. This is Ikeyama, Fountain Head. It's a spring. It's filtered through the volcanic deposits of Mount Asu and Mount Kuju. In the present location, the Bayama Farm Inn, the Bayama Ranch, Ogida, and Higotai. Equinox Park. It's winter already. It's very interesting. A beautiful park. And many mountain wisteria are growing. There is also still the Yezakura. rice fields for cultivation, pink wisteria, and people go to collect the mountain water. The new leaves coming. Mountain. You can see in this forested area, people are gathering spring water in the 
amongst the forest. Okay, I'm a fountain head. 780 meters above sea level. Generation after generation, the people in this district cultivated paddy fields using abundant water from Ikeyama Fountainhead and lived their calm lives. So they set the day of August the 5th as a feast day for the god of water and it still continued. They found even the fountain head. But really is major fountain head. Giant cedars are dawn. Space, the people collecting water. Very beautiful water. Yeah, it's fantastic. This is spring. It's really good. Yes. And then uh, you pray to the God before taking the water. The small Jiso is here. This is the spring. They're also piping directly from underground. And you can see how much water is running here as well. Yeah, running freely. Really. Nobody is here to collect any of it. And it's running 24 <laughs> 7. Of course, uh, a lot of it will get back to the river and flow, yeah. and some of it will be used in these rice fields, and some of it will go to rice fields down this road and down the valley and onto and the ocean. Then, yeah, it, it enters Ono River, which actually uh, ends in Beppu Bay, so mm -hmm. it goes to the ocean finally, and uh, on, on its way. It helps irrigate a lot of agricultural land. And then it goes back in the clouds and yes, comes back yeah. and rains the again. The water cycle, yeah. The water cycle, back from here. So you can see the Koinobri. Kumamon. Another mountain girl. It's a tourist spot. And a small village. To celebrate Boys' Day in Japan, they have the Koinobori flying carp kites. And this is really a nice display in a small valley. These are not very big ones, but there's a lot of them. In the small forestry fields, you can see farmers Growing different crops. This is Chinese cabbage. It's almost finished. About ready to plant the next crop. We have a typical forestry and farming road. see wild strawberries growing, field strawberries, and you can eat them. Take, see the strawberry here, looks yummy, mmm, very sweet. So that's a field strawberry.
more cabbage fields. It grows also tall, a bit like a raspberry bush in this case. And you can see a lot is growing here. So wild bushes along the hedge. So this is a jasmine, a vine, really tall, growing in the cedar forest. You can see a large swathes of jasmine. The forest paths. People do not come again to this area. Look at this. Almost a private forest. Swathes and swathes of jasmine growing. From the forest it emerges up to a clearing. Mm. You can see the windmills moving in the afternoon. Some parts they will develop from the forest. These are steps. Saracen, hello. Japanese monkey. Macaque monkey. Hello. Quietly. He's gone. There he is. Oh, I'm not you.